Hey guys, Kodai Karnas here. Welcome back to my workbench. And for the second of the tutorials I want to uh, do before I start talking about my main project is how to cut one of these to one of these. Now, that's an Arduino Nano, same as we had last time. This is in fact one of these. So this is a Dallas Semiconductors yeah, DS18B20 thermometer. Nice little package, relatively cheap. You can actually buy them quite cheaply if you just want the three pin package. But what I've bought is one of these. So waterproof, stainless steel, tip, reasonably long. Yeah, as you can see, quite a decent cable. Uh, corrosion resistant endpoint with the sensor uh, right about here somewhere. And with it being one wire, I don't have to have one wire and positive and negative. Five volts, I think I'm going to do 3.3 as well, but we run five volts and a signal. And then the other thing you need is one of those, which is the ubiquitous 4.7k resistor. So the reason we need the resistor is it actually, this thing has a couple of modes it can run in. So if we just look at this, um, First mode here is when you want to do the temperature sensing, you have both the positive and the negative grounded, and you provide power via the I.O. pin. So you pull it up, then do some sensing, and then you turn it off. Um, and that allows you to power this while you're waiting for it to do its business, you know, do its business and calculate the voltage. But I'm probably going to run it more in this mode here, which is Positive going to five volts. The you know, plus five volt pulled up into the I/O pin, and then we don't have any other devices, so we basically just run like this: ground grounded. So in reality, that means that one red to plus five, black to ground, and yellow to the pin we're talking on, and then we have a four point seven k resistor between the positive and the signal. So get a little breadboard in here. This is my Arduino, so I might as well just chuck it in. There we go. All right, so let's start off with five volts goes to, uh, where's five volts? Five volts here. Ground, we'll throw to ground here. Let's just move over a pin and the ground goes to there. So you have plus five and and let's reset next one over ground. Plus five volt on ground on that end. And this one we're gonna put back to ooh, let's go back to D2. So that's the basics in there, but now we need to provide a power. Well not the pull-up resistor. So let's go from uh, let's see from there to been a bit better there to over there, something like about that. And then that goes in between five volts on that one and the pin there. Oh, this breadboard's not very good. Oh, come on. Good enough for prototyping, but annoying at other times, right? Okay, that's in. So as you see, we've now got the pin running between this IO pin and five volts, and then ground is over here. So let's plug that in. Okay. That's all powered up. Let's switch over to the IDE. So let's just first make off, I've make, check up it all, let's see, upload nothing. Uploading, done, cool. So we now know that that Arduino is blank and we've got uh, connectivity between the two. So I'm gonna be using the Dallas Temperature Library by Miles Burton, and that needs the one wire library by, actually is that just by one? Oh no, sorry, I missed everyone else as a, you hover over this, you have, there's a big list of people. So 
Dallas temperature in one wire, or you can get from the library manager in here, it's quite good. So, first off, we need to, let's start off by the standard. Serial, begin, and this stuff, just 9600 board. Now, what we need to do is we need to tell it that we want to use the Dallas temperature library. So, let's just come here and do Dallas. No, got to remember to spell it. It's P E A T R E. No, temp sensor. And we're going to import that one because uh, I really miss the normal ID. Include. Down this temperature down H. Cool. Right, so if we try and verify that, and uh, it doesn't like that. Yeah. Hmm. Installed. Okay, I could use the example, but it's cheating. So why is it not liking that? D E M P E R. Ah. Yeah. Okay, that's fair enough. I can't spell. Now it comes down here and goes. Yeah. Okay, I can't spell. Fine. That's done compiling. Now, if we look at that, the class, one of the things it takes is one wire. So it tells it where to do it. So if you don't use, if you do that one by itself, um, you need to, you need to tell what part pin. So one wire. And let's include that one. Ash include one wire dot h, one wire, and we'll call this one wire. And we are going to be using bin, uh, bin, pin. And what's D2? So I get my handy reference. D2 is PD2. Uh, PD2. And then we say, wait, you use that one, one wire. Oh, won't why? Save that. Oh, we don't want that one. And let's verify that. Cool. It likes it. So that hopefully should then get us to connect. And then we go temp sensor dot begin. So that will initialize that library, get it up and running. So each time around the loop, we go. Sensors now if I'm right, there should be a uh, no, I can't spell temp sensors temp sensor uh, get temperature by index. Yep, so on temperature and C and then you tell it which because one wire, you can actually have multiple things linked together, one after another, chained. We only want the first one. And that will give us a, how oh, was the return? Probably a tensor float. Okay. So if we do float, yep. C. Let's just print that out, eh? So serial.write, yep. C. Verify to make sure we're happy. Oh, nope. Error, yeah, call of overloaded. Okay, you can't write out a float. You can only write out a... Interesting. There. Yeah. Ah, it's not right, it's print, isn't it? That's why I don't want to write up characters. 
Let's upload that and let's see what happens. Dum -dum 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 -dum. Let's monitor that. Sarah monitor. There we go. Okay, it's screaming through at the moment. 21.3 degrees in here. I grab hold of. So I'm holding onto the sensor. Then hopefully, switch back to the ID. You should see the temperature going up. It's not. What am I doing wrong? Let's have a look. And oh, okay. That's my fault. Just checking the documentation I've got printed out here beside me. I need to tell it to temsensor dot request. Yeah. One of those things. Let's upload that, see what happens. Done uploading, let's clear it. 27.2, there we go. That's ticking away. And if I hold on to it again, there you go. Warming up. And unfortunately, I don't have a bucket of cold water or anything, but I'll throw it into that. So that's yeah, you know, that's as complicated as it gets. Um, yes, I am cheating. I'm using someone else's library. Um, if you actually look at the data sheet, so you know I've got the data sheet here. Um, if you have a look at it, you can go through and there's comprehensive uh, somewhere down here. There's a so that's a diagram I had before. And show serial numbers. Scrolling, scrolling, here you go. That's how to do it. And basically, here is how you do the transmission. And you can bit bash if you want and start sending it bits and pieces. Um, done that in the past, but getting lazy and just want to use so somewhere down here. Yeah, here you go. So you've got to hold the wire low, wait for, what's it, 480 microseconds up to 900 microseconds then wait for a bit then it will do a pulse back to tell us that we've that it's on there and then go high and then one wire high is idle and then you say you know you send it 40 well, it's a 44 h it'll calculate temperature then you can read the information back poll it to see if it's busy and yeah I was playing around with this earlier um, the other day with the logic analyzer and you can actually see the library just doing are you ready are you ready are you ready ah you're ready now so you can see it, you see it sending you know b8 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 ah right b e then goes back up to 44 wait 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 read so you can see it ticking over quite happily but yeah guys so that's it so that's one of these talking to one of these and yeah hope you you've learned something and you can see it's not scary it's not complicated um especially not if you buy something like this i mean this just makes life easy um i was playing around with one of these ages ago actually trying to wire it up myself and it's easy enough to wire up yourself it's the same number of three wires but it's a small unit but it's just nice to get someone else to put into a waterproof package so like subscribe and hopefully you enjoyed that and i'll catch you next time bye